everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have our March bullet journal plan with me. And um, first of all, I wanted to thank you all for your patience. I know that I am no longer doing monthly bullet journal videos, but um, I thought this month would be really cute as I'm doing like a cloud theme, like watercolor cloud theme. I thought you guys might enjoy it. So I'm filming my process for this month. I wiped out one of my watercolor sketchbooks and used my watercolors to just kind of draw out a bunch of little clouds, uh, just, just kind of random shapes with my watercolors and just let the watercolors do their thing. And I tried to use like different shades of blue and maybe some purples here and there just to kind of add variety to the colors that are going to be on our title page. So once these were completely dry, I cut them out using my scissors and uh, I tried to kind of keep their, their shape uh, that the watercolors naturally uh, created. And uh, once all of these were cut out, I kind of tried to uh, arrange them how I wanted to on my uh, title page, kind of based on the sketch that I had done uh, previously. So once I decided where I wanted all my clouds to be, I used my little roller sticky tape thing to stick them down. And uh, I really enjoy this sticky tape because I, it's very portable and it's very mess free. So I used that to uh, stick them down uh, to the best of my abilities. Uh, yes, it is watercolor paper, so it's much thicker than the uh, bullet journal paper that I have, but I kind of don't really mind the difference in uh, grain, to be honest. I think it actually adds to um, the look of it. I don't know. I enjoy it. And yeah, all of my little clouds were stuck down and I went in with my Pilot G Tech pen, my little fine liner in blue, and uh, wrote out March on the big cloud in the middle there. And using the same pen, I use this pen a lot for this month's theme. I uh, basically drew out a bunch of like embellishments and little uh, details to the clouds and extra little clouds that would be in the background basically, and just kind of decorated the front page a little bit more. So that's what our front page kind of ended up looking like and with that done it was time for our monthly spread and I used some more of the leftover clouds that I had from our watercolors and stuck those down to kind of match our title page. I used them for the top left over there where I'm going to write the word March and just some clouds at the bottom as well. And once those were stuck in, I went in again with my Pilot G Tech pen and wrote out the days of the week and March over there on the big uh, blue cloud. I also had some trouble with this spread. I kept going back and forth with different supplies uh, going over the monthly calendar. I started off with my Pilot G Tech pen, but I ended up not really liking the the, the, the look of it just because the pen is really, really thin. It's like 0.7 uh the, the the little tip of it so it was really really thin and i didn't really enjoy how it looked so uh, a bit later i do go back in with one of my pentel sign pens in dark blue just to go over it Also, my camera decided to again stop filming this bit, sorry for that, but what I did is I just wrote out my monthly goals and my YouTube planner over there on the right and drew a little cloud around them with my Crayola Super Tips in blue. So yeah, I'm also using some of my um, Zero Mild liners for these spreads. There's a very nice like grayish blue in there, so I really uh, enjoyed using that. For my habits tracker, I did a stripe of blue with that zero mile liner over at the top and wrote habits um, at the top. And I kept that line going over to my expenses tracker once I got into it. So 
yeah for my habits tracker this month i drew out um a little stripe with my tombow dual brush pen in gray blue i think it's called and uh, that's where i'm gonna write my habit and then i drew a little circle for every day of the month of march uh, and then basically how i'm going to track my habits is that every day that i do complete the habit i'm gonna fill in that circle I saw this spread on uh, someone that did this on my that came across my Pinterest, so I saved it. Uh, you guys can see all of my inspirations and stuff on my Pinterest boards, so if you're ever interested. And yeah, I went in with my Pilot G Tech pen and just wrote out my habits over there at the top. And filled in the rest of my trackers um, the same way. I must admit it was very tedious to draw out so many circles but also kind of therapeutic i really love repetitive work like repetitive action stuff so i don't personally mind it but um if this is something that you would find very tiring i completely understand <laughs> And then over on our expenses tracker, I wrote out expenses in the same font calligraphy as um, I did for my habits. And then I used my zebra mild liner in the same like gray blue shade to continue that line for, that we did from the other one, uh, the other page over there. And then I just drew out my um, expenses tracker chart that I do for every single month uh, where I monitor all the money that comes in and out. Uh, and then I use my Tombow Dual brush pen in light grey to fill in every other row uh, just to help me track my rows easier, if that makes any sense. <laughs> And once those were done, it was time to go on to our double spread for the brain dump. And I decided to use some of my uh, washi tapes for this, just because I have a lot of like blue toned washi tapes and I thought it'd be fun to use them. I used this kind of like watercolory, um, like water looking washi tape for the top over there. And I wrote brain dump over there in the middle with my zebra mod liner. And then using my Pilot G Tech pen, I just went in and drew out a bunch of little clouds here and there just to kind of frame the page a little better. And I also ended up using this pen to go over my brain dump title just to kind of give it a bit more depth. And that was pretty much it for my brain dump page. And with that done, it was time for our weekly spread. I wanted to do something a little bit more high maintenance and intense for this weekly spread just because my first week of March is going to be super, super intense. I'm going to start shooting my graduation short film. It's a stop motion animation and a lot of things are going to be happening that week. So I definitely want as much planning as I can get. I drew out the monthly calendar over there at the top, um, just a very tiny calendar. And then over at the bottom there, I just drew out my weekly events and um, I just wrote it out with my fine liner and then I'm going to go over um, around it with my mild liner in a little bit. And using that my zebra mild liner, I drew out a stripe at the top uh, where I'm going to be putting um, what week it is and what month it is, and then also, you know, highlighted the days of the week like so. And yeah, using both my Tumble Duo brush pen and my mild liner, I kind of added blue accents here and there. Um, for example, highlighting what week it is over there in my monthly calendar. And uh, yeah, I started filling in the page. I created there uh, on the right side on the empty space that I had. Uh, that, that little column is going to be my weekly tasks, which there are going to be a lot of. <laughs> and then using my Pilot G Tech pen, I went in and wrote down the days of the week for each respective day. I really enjoy the look that it gives right outwards in uh, the, a darker shade of 
the highlight that's behind them. I don't know, I just enjoy it. And then using my Crayola Super Tips, I wrote in the days of the month next to them in a darker blue shade. I also drew out, of course, some more clouds with my Pilot G-Tech pen everywhere I could find a little spot and also added some more details and little shines over there on my weekly events. And um, yeah, then I just erased all the pencil that I'd done for when I was planning out this page and uh, yeah, kind of just drew out my weekly tasks and that was pretty much it for that page. I then went back in to uh, my other spreads and added some more washi tapes just to embellish it a little bit. I have some really cute um, blue washi tapes so I thought why not use them. I also added some more gold stars here and there. I, I love adding gold stars to my spreads. This is kind of just a flip through of everything and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my March bullet journal plan with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful month of March, I hope it's very productive, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye